Today, we're going to speak with Natalia Tepluhina. We're going to learn about how she got started in web development, what she's up to today, and what she'll be speaking about at the upcoming Vue.js Live Conference. This video is sponsored by Git Nation. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js Live Conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js Live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top view speakers, join live chat rooms, after party, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off. Natalia is a Vue.js core team member, an amazing developer, speaker, writer, and coffee lover. Thanks for joining me today, Natalia. Uh, why don't you give everyone a quick introduction? Thank you for inviting me for the interview. And like speaking about myself, you already mentioned almost everything besides the fact that I also work as a staff front end engineer at GitLab. So I'm developing Vue partly and using Vue framework at my daily work as well. Nice, nice. So uh, how did you get started in web development? Oh, it's an interesting question because I would say I started later than most of the audience. I've switched from being a database administrator around six years ago. And at first it was just simple development with a jQuery and then it was picking up frameworks. Nice, nice. And so I'm assuming your favorite framework is Vue.js? I mean, I'm kind of obliged to say this, right? It would be really <laughs> weird if I said React right now. Right, for sure. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's Vue for sure. Completely agree. Oh, yep. Let's talk about the uh, the conference itself. So first off, have you seen the Vue.js.London landing page? Like it's, yeah. it's amazing. I haven't looked into uh, exactly what um, uh, pack, package they're using for that. And I'll put it on the screen here for the viewers to see, but that is that an animation is amazing. I know, right? I even know the author of this animation. Oh, nice. What is what is their name? It's actually Sarah Drasner. She developed oh. this animation in 2018, I believe. Oh. And it's still one of the best animations I've ever seen. Nice, nice. This is the first time that I've seen it. So that that is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Um, awesome. So at the Vue.js London conference, you're going to be talking about local state and server cache finding a balance. So how exactly do you find a balance? This is a really good question because from what I can see, balance is still not found. I've been using Vuex as a main state manager for a long time. And as everyone who used Vuex or Redux, if you're using React, you probably know this feeling when you need to fetch some data from the server and you store it to the local state, right? And for this, you're writing in Vuex, you're writing the whole bunch of actions and mutations, and you're updating the state every single time when you do. This means you are creating a reflection of the server state, which is actually a server cache. And it takes a lot of boilerplate. People used to it, but if you look at it, it's like lots of boilerplate and you need to be really careful about invalidating this cache. And every single time it brings you to the situation when you want to check if data is already in the state. And if it's there, you're taking this data and render it. If it's not there, you're fetching this data from the server. And this is not possible to do with simple Vuex getter. First, I came to working with Apollo local cache, a part of Apollo client, and it will be doing this work automatically for you. If you're using Apollo client, mm -hmm. it's done under the hood. This, this is what's called Apollo magic. It's caching the data you fetch from the server, and it has pretty good tools for invalidation. But there is a problem as well. Apollo mostly works with GraphQL. Yes, you can make it working with REST endpoints, but the boilerplate will be even bigger than in Vuex because you will be writing a local resolve of every single query. Mm -hmm. So what do you do if you have REST API? There was a great library for React called React Query. I think it got quite popular in the recent years, but there was nothing like 
this in view. Until recently, authors of React Query exposed the core of the library and made it available for different frameworks. So it will be a short talk about how View Query can be used for working with the server cache and making our life easier. Wow. Yeah, no, that, that sounds like an amazing extension. Um, I use React Query all the time because I'm mostly a React developer. I do love you as well. But um, yeah, to have something like that, it, is, it saves so much time because writing all this boilerplate and trying, you're always having to check and just having a package that you can rely on that says oh, it's going to be there and it's going to work. I mean, that just takes so much off of, off of the developer's plate. So that's, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait for this talk. Um, before we wrap up, is there anything that we forgot to mention or anything that you want to shout out? Anything at all? Not really. I think we're pretty good covered. Okay, good. So uh, be sure to join us on October 20th and 21st at the Vue.js live conference. Hope to see you there. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js Live conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js Live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top Vue speakers, join live chat rooms, after party, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off.